while hiking in the woods, find ticks in your yard. If you're worried about Lyme disease, you can now get tested before any symptoms show up. But as the I-Team's Courtney Garish discovered, these tests that promise peace of mind also come with a warning, huh, Courtney? George, Wisconsin is one of the 14 states where 95% of Lyme disease cases occur. For less than 200 bucks, you can take a test that detects some tick-borne illnesses. But early testing can actually miss an infection. Lori Meyer used to enjoy spending time outside in her backyard. I'm afraid to do any gardening. Until she was diagnosed with Lyme disease last year. I woke up and my universe changed. Lori was so sick, she ended up in the hospital. Nobody could figure it out initially. She was eventually tested for Lyme. Doctors think Lori was infected for a while. That's what really, really degraded my immune system. More than a year later, she still has health issues. I'm completely deaf in my right ear. Lori had to learn how to walk again and still can't drive. She never found a tick and never developed the bullseye rash, a sure sign of Lyme disease. I think you're lucky if you get the rash because then you would know to go in. For people afraid of the worst case scenario, there's a way to get tested for tick-borne diseases without a doctor's order. We offer thousands of tests. That includes tests for Lyme and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Pat Goldhammer owns any lab test now in Franklin and Tosa. They will even test the tick if you bring it in. We do not interpret the results. Those are yours to keep and to share with your healthcare professional. The blood test runs 189 bucks, and there are no requirements. Most people the lab has tested are symptom free, but worried about exposure. Well, if they're in the woods, or if they see a tick on them. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention doesn't support this approach, even though it acknowledges tick-borne diseases are on the rise. The CDC recommends only being tested if you've been bitten or exposed when symptoms show up, which can be anywhere from three to 30 days. The tests for Lyme disease detect antibodies, which are made by the immune system to fight off bacteria. CDC epidemiologist Natalie Quitt says it takes time for the body to develop those antibodies. Testing too early can miss the infection. You can get a false negative test result. Goldammer is aware of the CDC guidelines. We don't give medical advice. If you want to come in and take the test, we're not going to turn you away. Another local lab, COPA in Waukesha, offers a home collection test kit for Lyme. You can order it online for $149. In response to the CDC's recommendation to wait to be tested, the lab points out those guidelines have not been, quote, revisited for a very long time. The lab says its test doesn't replace a doctor's visit, but can aid those in the risk category for a acute Lyme disease. What I know now is the symptoms, I ignored it. Lori never connected her fatigue and constantly getting sick to Lyme disease, but thinks it's something that should be on people's radar. If you have a lot of vague symptoms, maybe, maybe just get it checked. So if you do have that bullseye rash, your doctor will treat for Lyme, no test necessary. But if you're bitten by a tick and do not have symptoms, a Lyme test ordered by a doctor isn't usually covered by insurance and can cost up to $500. So what is Wisconsin seeing with regard to Lyme disease now? Well, from 2014 to 16, the confirmed number of cases across the state has actually increased by more than 500, from 984 to almost 1,500. There is one reported case this year in Milwaukee County, but health officials don't think that person and picked it up here. For signs and symptoms of Lyme disease and any other information about tick-borne illnesses, we have all that at TMJ4.com. Hopefully Lori will get better. You know, she was our nutritionist here at the station for I so I know, and years. she's made a lot of progress, but uh, it really, really wow, took her out. that's too bad. Yeah. Thank you, Courtney.